Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be downloading right here apps for your Mac that are meant for your iPhone and iPad. That's right. So it doesn't matter if they're in your iPhone or iPad, you guys can go ahead and download them here on your Mac. And no, you don't need any additional software in order to do this. It's just something that's pre-built into your Mac. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. Just click on that Apple logo. You're going to go into your App Store, which is our third option. Once your app store is fully open, on the bottom, you're gonna see your name, bottom left hand side, just click on it. Once you click on it, you're gonna see these options. And on the top left hand side, you're gonna see this, Mac apps and iPhone, iPad apps. And here we go. So these are the apps that have been purchased by me. So anything that you have downloaded on your iPhone, iPad, you guys can go ahead and download it on your Mac. Now, yes, a lot of these apps, and I mean a lot of them, you will see this note, for example, not verified for Mac OS. However, others, like this one right here, will not say anything, which means it's been verified. So that fully works on your Mac. However, even if they say not verified, they're gonna work just fine. So all of these apps have been purchased by me on my iPhone and iPad. And yes, there is a ton of them. So right here, we're gonna see all the apps that I've purchased before, you can go ahead and just download them right here on my Mac. Now, I want to make a quick note for those of you who do not see these two options. Maybe you just see this, purchase by and then your name. My name in this case is Tech. However, for you guys, you might just see that and that's it. You don't see this part right here where it says Mac apps and iPhone and iPad apps. That's okay. That's just because you don't have a Mac M1 or M2. So if your Mac has an M1 chip or an M2 chip, this is what you're going to see. If it doesn't, then you can't. Even if you're running the latest Mac OS, you won't have those options. Now, is there a reason for that? Not really. Apple could have made this available for Intel users as well. That wouldn't have been a problem. This is just software. It's not like an iPhone app or an iPad app is just too much for a Mac to handle. It's actually the other way around. Macs can handle way, way, way more complex programs than what an iPhone or iPad can do. If you would like to download any of these apps right here on your Mac, all you need to do is press this right here, this cloud, just press on it, and it's gonna begin the download. Now, how long will this download take? Well, it depends on the app, however, as well as your internet speed. So if you have really slow internet speed, this could take forever. Right now, I just download it. There we go, we can open it up. So here we go, we're just gonna open this up and turn on, say okay, I'm gonna sign in and then keep going. But basically this is how the app itself would show up. Now I'm gonna fully open so you guys can actually see it and I'm gonna press continue, there we go. It's gonna access my Facebook, yep, that's how Oculus works and we are done. So that's how you guys can see the app. It's gonna be the exact same app that you will see on right here, your iPad or your iPhone. Um, everything will work with it actually. But anyways, as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.